Hey everyone, Mark from Coast to Country. Today's video, uh, we're going to install this uh, Water Snake Geospot nav sensor into our boat. Um, so we forked out and ordered a um, Water Snake electric motor for this boat. Um, they had some really good specials on over Christmas, and we ended up getting a 65 pound um, Geospot model. So um, this has arrived before the motor, so we thought we'd just get this started. I haven't seen much um, on YouTube about installing these, so I thought I'd just do a quick video. So this is it. Basically, this is a sensor. Comes a little box, comes a little instruction manual, which basically all that does is tell you that you need to mount the sensor a good metre away from the bow mount, um, away from electrical current, as in if you're pulling a lot of power through a cable. So that's another thing. Comes with a Y piece adapter. So if you've got an older um, water snake uh, electric motor, you basically unplug where the foot controller goes, plug this in to where the foot controller goes and then have your foot controller onto here and then the sensor onto this one. Uh, the model I've got coming, I think it's got two cables coming out. So you just have the foot controller and the sensor. So you don't need the wide piece for that. Um, basically all it is is a little um, GPS puck, pretty much and a bit of cable. Um, the further away you can mount this puck to the back of the boat, the better. Um, basically works on, without getting into too much detail, if you can imagine that's your boat, that's the front of the boat. Um, if you can have the sensor further to the stern, um, the distance between the two, the further away you can have it, it actually can detect um, your more accuracy with your two GPSs. So you still use the GPS inside the electric motor and you also use a GPS puck on the back. And the advantage of this Dickley unit, um, all it does is offers an extra feature on your remote control fob, um, which will let you do jog, a jog function. So just a quick press of a motor will go 1.5 meters forward, back, left and right. So if you're anchored up, and you want to get near your whiting hole or something like that, you can actually just juggle the boat over to where you need to go. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, the other feature is um, apparently it stops wrapping up the cord around the head if you're um, in anchor mode and you've got a big swell or a bit of current, a bit of wind, your boat starts swinging around, it actually works it out and it can unwind your cord quickly. So it basically goes out of gear, spins the boat around and then starts again. So that's a good feature too, to stop your Navionics cord um, wrapping around around the motor. So that's a good feature too. Um, other than that, um, yeah, let's get it mounted. I've had one of these in a similar boat um, and I've actually mounted it right at the back here, um, basically on a flat surface, that's all you really need. I had thought about putting in the center of the seat, but then if you want to change carpet and things like that, it gets in the road and then you end up treading on it and whatever. So I'm gonna mount it there on a flat surface. Um, pretty simple, just run the cable all the way up the front under the, on the side of the gunnel. And I'll just cable tight to the existing cable there. And once I get the bow mount, like the actual motor rise, I'll work out how much slack I need to go there and um, tidy up the rest of it under that. So it's a really simple install. Uh, we'll drill a couple of holes, get this thing mounted, and um, once we get the electric in, we'll give it a test run. So I'll just unpackage this. Bit of bubble wrap. Alrighty, so it comes with a couple of stainless steel screws, so that's handy. And that is pretty much it. So the arrow, there's, it comes with an arrow, there's an LED indicator light which tells you which modes it's in uh, when it fires up with the motor. All you need to do is make sure these two screw holes are in perfect parallel line with the keel. So it can be offset to the boat, it doesn't have to be in the center of the boat. Um, it can be anywhere where you like, long as long as those screws are in line with the keel and the arrow is pointing forward. Then it knows which way your boat's facing and things like that. So all we need to do is basically drill Drill a couple of holes, um, to basically to mount these screws. So that's not rocket science. And in the centre, just need to drill a hole big enough to take this um, basically data cable. So that'll be in the centre, big enough to feed through there. If you didn't want to drill a big hole there, you could actually stick it out the side in a little mount there and mount it around a corner, you know, like that. I just find they get knocked around a bit like that. So you could drill in a quick hole, you can drop it straight through, and that'll mount somewhere like that and probably get bashed around with a fishing rod, but you get that in the big jobs. <laughs> All right, let's get them mounted. Right, so I've just made sure there's no um, cables or anything, obstructions under there. So we've got that exactly where we want it. Got it parallel with the keel, arrow pointing forward, and it's just a matter of drilling a hole for these screws. Let's give them a quick mark first. So 
So that's that. Then we'll just get our step drill. Drill out a centre hole for where this um, cable is going to go. And that is pretty close to a bit of a ridge under there, so I have to come over this way a tiny bit. So we'll go there, we should be okay. So all I need to do is make it big enough so that'll go through. So there is a bit of a ridge under here, which is going to be a bit of a problem, I think. Maybe not. Tiny bit more. There we go. So that'll go through there. Nice. We'll give that a clean up. Get some screws into it. Right, so we've got all those pre-drilled. It's just a matter of threading threading a grommet, in this case, um, over the cable. How are we going to do that? Bit of a squeeze. So you don't have to use a grommet. Just stops cable rubbing on the sides. Um, stops spiders bumping their heads every time they crawl through the hole. So we'll just thread our grommet through the edge of the aluminium there. It's right up against a support at the back so it doesn't fit perfectly. But anyway, that'll just stop the cable rubbing a little bit. I'm not going to worry about sicker flexing underneath here. There's a massive void. I don't want to fill this up with glue. Um, yeah, it'll get spiders and stuff living under there, but that's not, not a big drama. Um, I did notice there's a little, little rubber sort of silicon thing where the light is. So whether that can get, whether that's a button as well, I don't know. But whether moisture gets down there, I want to make sure it will drain away. There is a little pinhole there they've put in there. So um, anyway, we're well, going to leave that open, let it breathe a bit or whatever. So anyway, holes are all done. So these are our screws that come with it. Pre-done them. I just cut a little tiny piece off of the angle grinder there, put a 45 on it so it's not sticking right out the bottom of the boat there. It's something to rip yourself open on. So it's just a matter of um, screwing that down gently. It's only plastic, so you don't want to go cranking it down too bad. That is on there. Right, so the rest of this cable, all we're going to do is run that down the gunnel up to the front. So all I've done here is just um, put a bit of protection over the um, GPS cable and all a bit of that flexible conduit with a split down the middle. And all I need to do now is run this all the way through under the gunnels, all the way up to the front. So that's just a quick um, rundown of how to install one of these pucks. So I've just run the cable down the side of the gunnel there, hidden away. When I get the electric motor, we'll connect that up and um, do a few tests. So anyway, quick video this time, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And um, I'll see you on the next one.